So in front of you, you are looking at four of the most popular Minecraft launchers. All of these are pretty much the same except for the Minecraft launcher. The Minecraft launcher is like a more of a Microsoft integrated kind of experience. It's great because it allows you to give the game to other players. You can easily access and manage your realms in one single tab. You can change and preview all your skins that you have made, which none of these launchers allow you to easily do. Uh, you can see the patch notes for every single version of the game or snapshots, and they are well documented with screenshots and telling you everything that has changed. For example, for the skeleton here, a new variant of the skeleton that shoots poisonous arrows. They are easier to take down with 16 health instead of 20. They attack slower at an interval of 3.5 seconds instead of 2 seconds. And this is just amazing for the basic, just regular Minecraft enjoyer. You can also play all the other Minecraft games on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Dungeons and Legends. But as for switching between accounts, it's a bit harder every single time you want to switch account. You just have to click on switch account and then log into your new account and then your old account doesn't get saved. And also there is this animation if you care about this with music. That's it. Now for Prism Launcher, this is the launcher that I personally use. It's not the one that I recommend yet, but it's the one that I personally use. It's because it's extremely lightweight. Installing mod packs is extremely easy. You just choose Modern for CurseForge, click on a mod pack, choose your version and then click install. That's it. You do not have to do anything more. And also you can change the scat. For example, if you go here and press on this, you know, you have a cat on your launcher, which none of these launchers have. And this is what makes the best launcher that there is. Another great feature is the fact that you can easily switch between accounts by just pressing control one or two or three, four, five, six, if you have that many accounts. So you can easily choose between alt accounts and start multiple instances of Minecraft, one with your main account, one with your alt account at the same time. So you can uh, have an EFK account if you want to EFK and farm while you play on your main account. So it's, it's great. I, I really like it. At launcher, this is again one of the better launchers because you can easily create instances, edit them, make backups, update, whatever. You can also easily download mod packs from CurseForge and Modernwinth. And one thing you cannot do on Prism Launcher is search by category. So magic mod packs are more easily accessible in this launcher. One other very, very great thing is the fact that you can easily create a server. For example, you want a server for Elden Craft, you just click on create server, install and uh, after it's installed, you'll be able to find it under servers and then you can just start it. Only thing you need to do is port forward and that's it. You have a server set up with a mod pack, which usually is much, much, much harder. If you've ever done it, you know. Uh, the UI of this launcher doesn't look the greatest, but I guess that doesn't matter that much. It's also a bit heavier on your PC as Prism Launcher. In my opinion, it really just doesn't look that great. It looks quite old and I think it's the worst looking launcher of all of them. And now for my current personal favorite actually is GD Launcher. GD Launcher has recently kind of stolen me a bit. I didn't like GD Launcher in the past. And if you're looking at reviews that are older than a few months, you may be lied to because they now have support for Modern which is quite big for me because I play on Fabulously Optimized and I want to play on this mod pack every single time. And if they do not have it, then uh, I won't use the launcher. But again, you can easily choose by categories, even easier than AT launcher. Again, you can do the exact same with all the icons and categories they do have on their website. And also one thing that's amazing on GD launcher, you can just uh, download individual mods. You just click on your instance and then you just download mods to it. It's so amazing. You do not need to go to websites. If you want to add mods to your instance, you just go to this mods tab and install any mod you want. You can just search for it on Modern, on CurseForge. For example, this is a Modern mod pack. You can just download every single thing you want. Also, some of these are locked because they require other mods first to run on. Uh, you can easily switch between accounts just like this. You can also do this on the at launcher. I forgot to say that. So basically, if you're looking for a new launcher, download GD launcher. It, this is not a sponsored video. It's just my personal opinion. It's currently the best launcher you can use. I'm Wise and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.